Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Good morning and welcome to another Walks and Wonders. If this is your first time don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notifications of new videos. Today's video is a little health tip. Not that I'm a doctor or know anything about that except I am getting older like we all are when you reach a certain age you really do have to start looking after this body that we live in otherwise you're going to lose it and I want to stay fit and active and healthy for as long as I can I grew up in 1960s Manchester and our diets weren't that healthy a lot of sugar a lot of full fat a lot of lard a lot of deep frying so my diet's not always been the best I am a bit fussy about food we're told to eat the five lots of fruits and veg to stay healthy and in my mind I kind of I want to do that but when I come to do it in real life it's a problem so you buy a bag of apples you think I'm gonna have an apple every day I start chewing the apple and then I just feel like I'm sort of gagging on the apple a mouthful of apple and it's, uh, it's quite unpleasant so I know the five a day is good for us I want to do in my mind when I come to eat even just one piece of fruit like an apple sometimes I just don't want to do it it's my little health tip today and it's a sort of health tip for old blokes and that is to get yourself a blender and have a smoothie you could have seven a day even actually I don't really do this every day but if you do it once or twice a week or even once a week you're gonna be getting more of the good stuff into your body than if you don't do anything. So you can make a smoothie with any fruit you like. Sometimes I slip in a couple of fruits I'm not mad about. And if you've got a freezer, you can buy frozen fruit now. More or less just as good in most cases. So get some fresh fruit, some frozen fruit. And if you've got some frozen fruit, also means you don't have to put any ice into the smoothie because the frozen fruit will chill it also get some soy milk or coconut milk something like that so it becomes more of a milkshake rather than using water so the other day I got some frozen fruit in some fresh fruit and made a smoothie I think there's about seven or eight fruits in this if you count the soy milk as vegetable which it kind of is I mean it's really good stuff so here's what I used in my smoothie and how I made it Not only does that taste good, you know it is good. Now this on its own is not going to make us live forever, nothing will. But it's a small step, we just take some small steps in life to live more in harmony with our bodies and hopefully the planet as well. 
which we'll talk about in another video. So if you're not very good at eating your five a day, have a go at a smoothie. You can put whatever fruit you like in it. What I did makes about a pint or so of smoothies so you could have half a pint when you make it, put the rest in a container in the fridge, have it later in the day. It won't last long even in the fridge so use it quickly. So that's been Egan's health tip. Thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up on YouTube and I'll see you in the next video. The sky is falling down.